Hello everyone, today a review about a couple of Mini GT models, three cars and a hauler slash trailer. We start with the Lamborghini safety car and it says it's an official Macau GP safety car 2022. Um, yes, let's take off the plastic. Here we can see it's official licensed product that is what we like we can see the barcode and article number for the ones who are interested um, some text freeze the frame if you want to read it mini gt mini gt yeah it's a 164 scale and we can see mini gt is active on social media Yeah, I think this is one of the best uh, 164 castings from uh, Lamborghini Ewers on the market. Mini GT did really well, also with uh, previous models of this car. Cool, on the license plate it says uh, safety. Lamborghini logo in the middle, safety car here on the hood. Lanced lights here in the front. Nice grill, I like that. Let's have a look at the base. Mini GT always has a metal base with some details and a silver exhaust. I like that. When it comes with a silver exhaust here on the base, it looks uh, yeah, a lot better in my opinion. And more and more Dykus brand are adding that detail on their models. Uh, nice profile on the tires, nice thick tires. Tires in the back are as white as in the front, so they're the same size. Still no uh, brake disc, brake claw. That's maybe an improvement for Mini GT, but maybe it's also too uh, difficult and therefore a little bit expensive. And yes, the price quality uh, from the model now is really, really good. Okay, let's have a look at the interior. Here you can see the middle console. It's a right-hand drive. Most of the time they uh, produce a right-hand drive and a left-hand drive, but I think in this case the car is an official safety car and it is a right-hand drive, so there is no left-hand drive. Safety car, cool. Then, the old Range Rover Davos White. Uh, recently I found the Chase. Uh, do I have it here? No, I already put it in the Chase box. And that was the, yeah, is it yellow? No, it's not yellow. It's a little bit of sand color, desert color. Yeah, freeze the frame if you want to read this. Officially licensed by a Land Rover. Thank you, Land Rover. Barcode, article number. And again, it's in a 164 scale. My favorite scale to collect. But I recently bought a 118 scale model, a police car, and a review is coming soon. As soon as possible, because the list of models for a review is very long at this moment. Yeah, heavy casting very uh feels very good nice rolling wheels did i mention that on the lamborghini i don't have to mention it because mini gt models always have good rolling wheels i'm missing a license plate here that is also uh, 
uh, improvement that uh, Mini GT can do. Heating in the back window. Not sure if the real one has heating in the back window, but I think so. So, uh, windscreen wiper is molted in the glass. I like the side mirrors here in front on the hood. Typical classic Range Rover look. Nice metal base with lots of details and a silver exhaust tip. Good profile on the tires, authentic rims. Let's have a look at the interior. This is a left-hand drive. Yeah, I live in a country where they have uh, left-hand drives. So I most of the time I buy left-hand drive cars. But in this case, it could also be a right-hand drive because this is an English car. So I think I'm going to add English license plate. Mm, no, no, no. In a left-hand drive car? No, dude, you can't do that. That's not realistic. Okay, this is definitely one of my favorites uh, from this video. The Porsche 911 Carrera RS 2.7. There is also a black version. I think I got that one as well. It is uh, recently um, launched and I think Tom's had just sent it to me. It's in one of the boxes I've got. Yeah, freeze that frame. Again, a licensed product, yeah. And the barcode and article number. Now you see a lot non-licensed cars on my YouTube channel. That's true. Um, but that doesn't mean I uh, appreciate licensed cars because I really, really, really do. And non-licensed cars are actually, uh, that's no good. But if a diecast car is so cool and it's not licensed, I'm not going to leave it behind. Hell no. Okay. So here we got the beautiful Carrera. What a beautiful classic and what a beautiful colors. Mini GT did really well. I love this one. Yeah, this one is definitely getting a German license plate from me. Nice Porsche logo in the front. I think that's also important. Windscreen wipers molted in the glass. No heating in the back window, but I'm not sure if uh, this classic car has heating in the back window. I think so. Lanced rear lights, nice ductile with Carrera underneath it. A little bit difficult to see. And a beautiful metal black base. Nice profile and a silver exhaust tip. I like that. I like that. Uh, one mirror one side mirror uh, be careful with that let's have a look at the interior yeah authentic steering wheel really good i love it Definitely going to make a nice photo with this one. Then we got uh, the trailer and I'm wondering if it fits behind this Range Rover. Yep. Already got a few of these trailers. It's not the first time they, uh, they release this. Not sure, maybe something is different on this one I don't know I think the other one uh, is black or silver I have no idea yeah I call this the t what my answer is already on the package how cool is that 
Model car shown for reference only and is not included. Well, <laughs> lucky for me, I have one. Barcode article number. Yeah, this is typical uh, a Mini GT trailer. Wow, nice with the wood in the middle. I like that. Okay, this is plastic, so you have to be careful. How do I get this out? Like this. Um, on AliExpress, you can buy accessories for this trailer. So you can add some tires here, uh, some uh, boxes, all kinds of things. I think I did a review about it on my YouTube channel. Uh, the base here is metal, good rolling wheels, and yeah, I already got my answer, but still, we're going to check if it's possible. It's possible. And I think this white Porsche is a beautiful match. Wow, what a perfect end of this video. Check this out. Oh, sound doesn't match uh, the movement. But wow, what a cool picture is this okay uh thanks for watching let me know what you think about the models what is your favorite model that's uh, what i want to know uh yeah there are coming uh a lot more mini gt models on my youtube channel and uh i hope they're coming soon stay tuned don't forget to smash the like button again thank you for watching and have a very nice day bye